Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera Today uh, Our lecture topic is about Bipolar Junction Transistor BJT And this is the DC analysis of BJT Alright um, What are the learning outcome of our uh, Topic for today is that at the end of this chapter, student will be able to analyze the DC biasing of single stage BJT amplifier circuit, calculate operating point of DC voltages and DC current, calculate maximum output voltage V out max, and also plot the DC and AC load line. All right. Now we go on to the definition. Um, biasing refers to the DC voltages applied to a transistor in order to turn it on so that it can amplify the AC signal. The DC input established an operating or quiescent point called the Q point. In DC analysis, all capacitor act as open circuit. Okay, so the DC biasing circuit uh, consists of fixed bias circuit, emitter stabilized bias circuit, voltage divider bias circuit emitter follower circuit and also voltage feedback so we are going to uh, look at the uh, dc analysis for all of the circuits all right the dc biasing circuit uh, proper biasing circuit which it operate in linear region and circuit have centered Q point or midpoint bias. Improper biasing cause distortion in the output signal and also can produce limited or clip at output signal. So that is why we need uh, a good circuit so that we can uh, decrease the improper biasing right. so this are the example of uh, linear operation for an inverting amplifier where this is the input this is our operating amplifier and this is the output from the operating amplifier so as you can see here the input is a sinusoidal signal and this is an inverting amplifier so it inverts the input signal for example here for positive cycle becomes negative cycle and for negative cycle becomes positive cycle and also it amplify the signal so for a non-linear operation for an inverting amplifier if you look at the figure here you can see that this is the output eh, sorry this is the input and this is the output so for non-linear sometimes the signal have uh, distortion this is uh, what we call as distortion uh, we have discussed for a improper biasing it will cause either distortion at the output or produce limited or clip at the output signal so this is the example of clip signal all right so we go on to the next slide but before we go on to the next slide i would like to uh, give you an uh, extra notes eh? extra advice uh, although a number of networks are analyzed in this chapter 
there is an underlying similarity in the analysis of each configuration due to the recurring use of the following important basic relationship for a transistor. There are three equations that uh, uh, involved in this uh, DC biasing uh, circuit. The first one uh, is VBE for the voltage between base and emitter. If you use silicon diode, it will be zero point. It will be equal to zero point seven volt. Uh, IE is equal to in bracket beta plus one multiplied by IB, and this IE will be approximately equal to IC. Uh, another equation that you guys need to remember is that IC is equal to beta IB. All this equation that I have mentioned, we have learned from the previous lecture. That is uh, uh, DC, uh, BJT DC for part A. This is uh, part B. Uh, sorry, not uh, part A, uh, not part A, but actually for the biopolar junction transistor BJT introduction. So you can uh, refer back to the uh, lecture notes in the BJT introduction regarding the uh, equation that I have mentioned. Alright, now we go on to the fixed bias circuit. Okay, the fixed bias circuit is the simplest transistor DC bias configuration. Even though the network employs an NPN uh, transistor, the equation and calculation apply equally well to a PNP transistor configuration merely by changing all current direction and voltage polarities so the equation involved will be the same for npn and also pnp configuration all right now we look at the first uh, circuit which is fixed bias circuit this is what we call as fixed bias circuit the uh, uh, analysis the analysis uh, the DC analysis will start from the input loop okay if you look at the figure the input loop will be at the VCC and the current will flow through RB and flow through VBE and to the ground so this is the input loop while the output loop is from vcc to rc and pass through vce and down to ground terminal so for dc analysis you guys need to remember there will be two loops that you need to find the equation for the first loop is the input loop and the second loop is the output loop the first loop is to find the value of ib and the second loop that is the output loop is to find the value of vce all right for the input loop the equation uh, will be the KVL Kishaw voltage law equation uh, from the input loop from the input loop will be plus VCC minus IBRB minus VBE equals to zero. This plus sign actually uh, you actually can choose whether you want the polarity, the first polarity as your uh, sign, or you can choose 
uh, current leaving the node uh, is the polarity that you sign in your equation. So in this case, it choose uh, the current flow through the node or through the device. Okay. So here plus sign represent the plus polarity from the VCC. And then minus sign represent the minus polarity from the resistor RP. While negative sign here, minus sign here represent the negative polarity from the VBE voltage. So that is why the equation becomes like this. Solving for this space current, you will get IB equal to VCC minus VBE over RB. So this is the first equation. So this equation comes from the KVL at loop 1. You just bring all this uh, value to the other side and you remain IB on, the, the, on this side. Okay, so you bring all this value to the other side, you'll get this and remain IB at the at this side, you will get IB equals to VCC minus VBE over RB. So this is equation 1. For equation 2 and 3, we will focus on the output loop. As you can see here, the current will flow starting from VCC and pass through RC and also VCE until it reach, reaches the ground terminal. So the collector current is given by IC equals to beta IB. This equation you guys need to remember because you can use this equation in the other equation. Okay. Alright. So KVL at loop 2 will give you VCC minus ICRC minus VCE equals to 0. That is starting from VCC. Okay, plus VCC and then minus ICRC and then minus VCE equals to 0. So from here, you just move all this uh, uh, notation here to the other side and remain VCE. You will get VCE equals to VCC minus ICRC. So that is the fixed bias circuit DC analysis. So now we go on to the other slide, to the next slide, that is the load line for fixed bias circuit. From equation 3, that is from VCE equals to VCC minus ICRC, the end point of the load line are IC saturation equals to VCC over RC that is where VCE equals to 0 and the other equation is that VCE at saturation will be equals to VCC that is when IC equals to 0 okay what is saturation saturation is when VCE is at the minimum value here and when I see uh, uh, this is the saturation region okay uh, before we go on I want to uh, explain a little bit about this uh, figure this is the saturation region this is the cutoff region and this is the active region. Okay. So, alright. So, if you want to find the end point of the load line, this is what we call as load line. You need to know what is the uh, cross section of uh, this uh, vertical axis and also cross section of the uh, horizontal axis. So, for the vertical axis, if you want to find the maximum value, you need to make sure that VCE equals to 0 and you will get the uh, cross-section point for uh, vertical axis. 
while if you want to find the vertical uh, sorry uh, horizontal uh, point exist uh, I mean cross section of the horizontal point so you need to make sure that the current IC equals to zero and then you will get the value of cross section of uh, vertical point that is equal to uh, VCC so the Q point is the particular operating point all right where the value of RB set the value of IP where IP and the load line intersect that sets the values of VCE and IC so you want to find the Q point for example you want to find the Q point for this uh, signal IB here so the cross section for this signal is the Q point uh, okay so here this point will give you the value of IC Q and also the value of VCE Q IC Q means IC at Q point VCE Q is VCE at Q point so it depends if you want the Q point for this signal so the point will be here the cross uh, section will be this so this is will be, this will be the Q point for the signal all right so we go on to the next slides all right so as I mentioned before as I as I explained before you can get different Q point depending on your current okay so current IB actually comes from the result from here so if you want the Q point you need to find IB so when you get IB so you will see that for example the value is IB2 so the Q point will be here and the ICQ will be here at this point and VCEQ will be here right so it depends on your current IB value of current IB all right circuit values affect the Q point so different IB will give you different Q point and different Q point will give you different value of VCE and also IC so if you look at this graph over here you can see that if you move your uh, uh, value of Q point at different level of IB you will see that this Q point will start to go up and the value of IC will start to increase while the value of VCE will start to decrease so increasing level of IB will get that uh, uh, increasing value of um, uh, this uh, IC and also decreasing the value of VC okay and then this graph shows that increasing level of RC will get this condition while here this graph showing that decreasing value of VCC will get this uh, condition all right so we go on to the next slide how to determine the Q point example Q point at midway between cut off and saturation so Q point is the midway between cut off and saturation so here as you can see the Q point is at the middle of the load line this is your load line so the value at the middle here is the Q point and this Q point will represent the value of ICQ and also VCEQ 
Okay. So this is an example. Uh, you can try to do this. Okay. You have. Uh, you need to determine the IBQ, ICQ, VCEQ, VB, and VC, and also VBC. So you can do the uh, DC analysis from this example. Remember, uh, as mentioned before, during DC analysis, capacitor will be open circuit. So C in will be open circuit. C out will be open circuit. Alright, now we go on to the next slide. This is the emitter stabilized bias circuit. Alright. Adding a resistor RE to improve the stability that is DC bias current and voltage remain closer to where they set even temperature change. So before this, the circuit is like this. But by adding emitter to the circuit, the circuit will be like this. Okay, this is the resist uh, RE. Yeah, resistor at the emitter by adding resistor at the emitter okay all right the dc bias network this is the uh, network contains an emitter resistor to improve the stability level over that of the fixed bias configuration the more stable a configuration, the less its response will change due to undesirable changes in temperature and parameter variation. The improved stability will be demonstrated through a numerical example later in this section. So, let's go on to the next slide. Okay. So this is the DC analysis of uh, emitter stabilized by a circuit. All right. First, we need to look at the input loop, and the second, we need to look at the output loop. So here, as you can see from the input loop, the KVL at the input loop, you will get plus VCC, minus IBRB, minus VBE, minus IARE equal to 0. Okay. Plus VCC, and then minus IBRB, minus VBE, and minus IARE equals to 0. Since IE equal to beta IB multiplied by IB, okay, beta plus 1 multiplied by IB, IE equals to beta plus 1 multiplied by IB. So, by substitute this equation into the this uh, equation, you will get VCC minus IBRB minus, in bracket, beta plus 1 multiplied by IB, RE minus VBE equals to 0. So, from here, you can uh, remain IB and all the other terms move to the other side, you will get IB equals to VCC minus VBE over RB plus beta plus 1 RE. So this is the first equation. For the output loop equation, KVL at the out, uh, output loop, okay, you can see here, starting from plus VCC minus ICRC minus VCE minus IERE equals to 0. So this is the equation. Alright, since IE is approximately IC, so by substituting this equation into this equation, the new equation will become VCE equals to VCC minus IC in bracket RC plus RE. Also, 
we know that VE equals to IERE. So, VC equals to VCE plus VE equals to VCC minus ICRC. And VB equals to VCC minus IBRB, which is equal to VBE plus VE. Alright. So, these are all the equations involved during the DC analysis for emitter stabilized bias circuit. Now, we look at the uh, load line for emitter bias circuit. The same method used. If you want to find the load line, uh, you need to know what are the uh, cross section of the uh, vertical axis and also the horizontal axis. In order to find that, uh, VCE equals to zero, you will get the cross section at vertical axis, while IC equals to zero, you will get the cross section at the horizontal axis. So from there, you have two points and you can draw the load line. Alright, so the value of IB, uh, you can find through this equation. So from there, if the value of IB is equal to IBQ, you can get the Q point is uh, is this uh, point and the value of ICQ at this point and also the value of VCEQ is at the at this point. Alright. This is the example of uh, uh, emitter bias circuit. So you guys can do this. You can try to do this example. Remember, uh, uh, during DC analysis, all the capacitor must be open circuit. For AC analysis, the capacitor will be short, but that will be covered in the next lecture. So you can open this CE in, CE out, and also CE during the DC analysis. Alright, now we go on to the voltage divider bias. Okay, so this is a very stable bias circuit. The currents and voltages are almost independent of variation in beta. There are two ways of analyzing the voltage divider bias circuit. The first one is to do the exact analysis. And the second one is to do the approximate analysis. Okay, this is the voltage divider bias circuit. Okay, you guys need to remember all this uh, type of uh, circuit so that it would be easier for you to do the uh, analysis. Uh, 